Are you struggling to write blog posts using ChatGPT? Well, in today's video, I'll teach you the quickest and easiest way to write entire blog posts in ChatGPT with the help of Keywords Everywhere's prompt templates feature. So let's get started. So most people struggle to write good blog posts with ChatGPT because they don't know the right prompts to give it. So that's why Keywords Everywhere created a prompt templates feature with tons of prompts that you can use to generate effective and high quality blog posts. So to get access to the prompt templates feature, go to keywordseverywhere.com. And this is a browser add-on that you can install for Chrome and for Firefox. So the first step is for you to install the Keywords Everywhere extension on your browser and then log in to your OpenAI account. With the Keywords Everywhere extension installed and turned on, you'll notice two new things in your ChatGPT dashboard. On the left-hand side, you'll see this Templates button. And on the top right-hand side, you'll see this Continue button. So what you want to do first is click on this Templates button, and you'll see the Keywords Everywhere's ChatGPT Prompt Templates widget pop up right here. You first need to choose a category, and we are going to click on Copywriting. Then we need to choose a subcategory. We want to write a blog, so we are going to click on blog writing. Next, we need to choose a template. Now, this is organized from top to bottom, okay? So the first template we need to select is generate blog post titles. So we are going to click on that. Now we can choose from different languages. I'm going to click on English. You can choose from different voice tones. I'm going to keep it as friendly. And you can also choose writing styles. So there's tons of different writing styles. I'm going to click on conversational. Now at the bottom is the prompt template for blog post titles. Okay. Now any option you choose here will be reflected in this template. So you can see friendly tone is right here and conversational writing style is right here. You can also tweak this however you wish, okay? So if there are certain things you want to change or switch out, feel free to do that. So the last step is for us to add the topic. Now this is the topic for which you want blog titles for, okay? So I'm gonna put my blog topic of how to take care of succulents. And when I add the topic here, you can see that it's automatically added to the template right here. So once you review this prompt template and all looks good, just click on Execute Template. Now you can see ChatGPT is generating all of these blog titles. Now on the top right-hand side, Keywords Everywhere added this Continue button. Now this allows us to tell ChatGPT to continue doing additional things. So we can tell ChatGPT to simply continue with our original prompt. We can have it clarify the output, exemplify, expand, explain, rewrite, shorten, or even tweetify it. So let's just say we want more than 10 blog titles. So we're gonna just click on please continue. And now ChatGPT is generating more blog titles for us that we can review and choose from. So all of these 20 titles look really good, but I like this one, top tips for taking care of your succulents. So let's just say this one is going to be our blog title. So I like to open up a Word doc and paste it in my Word doc for reference. There we go. So top tips for taking care of your succulents. The next step is for us to click on the templates button and then go back to the templates dropdown and click on the second one, generate blog post descriptions. So this is used for the post meta description. Okay, so we can choose from different languages, uh, tone of voice right here and writing styles. I'm gonna keep it as is, and then I'm going to paste my title right over here. And you can see it is added in this prompt template right here. And again, you can always tweak this template however you wish. But I like it as is, so I'm gonna click on Execute Template. So now ChatGPT is generating 10 meta descriptions for us. Okay, so these are all of our descriptions. They all look really good, but this one is really standing out to me. Want healthy, happy succulents? Check out our top tips for taking care of your succulents. So I'm just gonna copy this and just paste it in my Word document so I can reference it later. Okay, there we go. So for the next step, we are going to click on the templates button again and click on templates and click on generate blog post outline. So we're gonna click on that and then we can choose 
from different languages, voice tones, and writing styles. I'm going to copy my blog post title and paste it right here. And you can see it's added in the template here. You can tweak this template if you wish. I'm gonna keep it as is and click on execute template. So now ChatGPT is writing an entire outline for the top tips of taking care of succulents. Okay, so this is the entire outline for us. So it has the different headings here and the subheadings. So we have introduction, why succulent care is important, understanding your succulents, types of succulents and their unique care requirements, and so on. So I think this outline looks really, really good. So I'm just gonna copy this entire output and then I'm gonna click on the templates button and click on the templates dropdown and click on generate complete blog post from outline. So I'm gonna keep my languages, voice tones, and writing styles the same. And then we just need to paste the blog post outline right here. Now one caveat is we need to remember to include the article title at the top. So just remember to copy everything from top to bottom. So again, this is our blog title, okay? So make sure you copy that first line. So I'm gonna go back here and just paste my blog post outline. You can edit the prompt template if you wish. I think it's all good, so I'm gonna click on execute template. Now ChatGPT is basically writing the entire blog for us. I noticed that it kind of stops in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is click on the please continue button. So now it is continuing the blog article for us. Okay, and I'm gonna click on please continue again so it will continue the article. All right, and this is the conclusion, so it is done. So this please continue button is very, very helpful if you are writing long form blog content. So now we can basically copy and paste our entire blog post into our Word document. I'm just gonna copy this and paste it right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna copy the second generation, which is this one right here, paste that. Okay, and then the last one, which is this output right here, and and paste it. Keep text only. Okay, and we have an entire blog article generated in just a few minutes with the help of Keywords Everywhere prompt templates feature. So the next step is for you to simply review the article, uh, make tweaks, add additions to it, and so on before you publish it on your website. Now, if you want even a faster way to generate blog posts, there's actually a template for that, okay? So if you don't wanna go through all the steps that I just did, what you can do is click on the templates button, click on the templates dropdown, and there is this template right here, generate complete blog post from topic, okay? So if you don't wanna go through all of these steps, uh, just click on this one and you can choose your language, voice tones, writing styles, and then just paste your topic right here. Now this is the topic or title on which you want the article written. So I'm just gonna paste the original topic, how to take care of succulents, and click on execute template. So this is a much quicker way to generate an entire blog post just with one template versus going step by step, okay? Okay, and it kind of stopped in the middle of the article. So I'm gonna click on please continue. And I'm gonna click on please continue one more time because it looks like the conclusion needs to be finished. Okay, and it is done. So this is a much quicker way to generate an entire blog post just using the blog topic. So now you can basically copy and paste the output into your Word document, make tweaks to it, and then publish it on your website. Now there are additional templates you can use to enhance your blog article, okay? So let's just say maybe we looked at this introductory paragraph and we want to make it a little bit more engaging. So there's actually a template for that. So we're gonna click on templates, click on the templates dropdown, and click on generate introduction using a framework. So it will use a copywriting framework to generate an introductory paragraph for your blog. So you know how important it is to use the introductory paragraph to hook the reader's attention so they continue reading the blog article. So this template is very, very powerful. So just choose your language, voice tones, and writing styles. And I'm gonna paste my blog topic right here and I'm gonna make the total words 60, and we could tell it the copywriting framework. So the default is the ADA, which is attention, interest, desire, and action. But if you hover over this question mark, you can see some additional copywriting framework examples. So the PAS, problem, agitate, solution, BAB, before and after bridge, and FAB, features, advantages, and benefits. 
I'm going to leave it as the Ada framework. And lastly, just add keywords you want ChatGPT to add to this introductory paragraph. I'm just going to type in succulents. And then you can tweak this prompt template if you wish. I'm going to click on Execute Template. And now ChatGPT will generate a new blog introductory paragraph using the Ada copywriting framework. And here it is. And if you wish, you can hover over the Continue button and then select different options right here to tell ChatGPT to do additional things. Maybe we can have it rewrite, so you can click on Rewrite, and then it'll rewrite that introductory paragraph. Okay, so I think this looks good, so I'm just gonna copy this and go back to my Word document, and then just simply replace the introductory paragraph that it originally generated for us. Okay, here we go. So we have a much better introduction for this blog article. And there's actually another template I want to show you that you could use to tell ChatGPT to generate more content for specific parts of your article. Okay, so let's just say, you know, DIY succulent art. So there's this paragraph here, but let's just say we want ChatGPT to rewrite this paragraph and make it a little longer because it is quite short and it doesn't have too much detail. So I'm going to click on templates and click on the templates drop down and then click on generate paragraph of text. Okay, so we can choose our language, voice tones, writing styles, and now we can paste our topic or heading on which you want the text written. So I'm gonna go back to my Word document and uh, copy this heading, DIY succulent art, and paste it right here. And total words, I'm gonna say, let's just do 100, and keywords right here. I'm just gonna add wall art as a keyword, and this is the prompt template. You can tweak it if you wish. I'm gonna click on execute template. So now ChatGPT will write that content for that specific heading. And here you go. So if you think this is good, you can copy it and go back to your Word document and basically replace it. So now we have a much longer and more thorough piece of text for this section right here. And we are done with our blog article. Now we can even tell ChatGPT to generate a tweet that we could use to publicize our blog post once we publish it. So we can hover over the please continue button and click on Tweetify and it'll generate a tweet for us. Okay, so I generated one a little earlier right here. And then this is the latest one that it generated over here. And these two are reflecting the wall art paragraph. Okay, so this is how you can write a blog using ChatGPT. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.